notations the, where the order mattered. So if I, if you're arranging, I don't know, letters, we'll do the word cat. As soon as you put a C there, it can no longer be in the second spot. And you spell different words. You can spell C-A-T, C-T-A, A-T-C, etc. These are all different quote unquote words. I know they're not words, but different arrangements of the letters. That's a permutation. A combination is when the order is not important. So for example, if you're playing and you're going to see a lot of questions around combinations or, or um, cards, so poker hands, things like that, you're going to see a lot of questions like that. <laughs> because the order you're dealt the cards is irrelevant. It's just the end product that matters. Okay, if you're making a smoothie, it doesn't really matter the order that you put the stuff into the blender. As long as the blender is strong enough, it'll blend it all and you get the same result. Okay, I'm not going to go through this because I don't like this example. So, no, we're going to look at this. So, we have we have a cross country race. The winner of the race gets fifty dollars. The runner up gets twenty five, and third place gets ten. These are all, and so these are all the different combinations, okay? Is this permutations or combinations, this question? Does the order matter or does the order not matter? Why? Yes, because you get different prizes, the order you win or the order you come in matters. So this is a permutation, all right? How many ways can you award the prizes? Well, there's five people in the race. So how many people, you can either go like this. First place, you have five choices. Second place, you have four. Third place, you have three choices. Or, sorry? Yeah, exactly. Or you would just do five people, because it's a permutation, okay? But if instead of awarding prizes for first, second, third, we say, okay, the top three people go to provincials or nationals or whatever. Top three go. Does the order matter? No, you just need to be top three. It doesn't matter if you come first or third or second. As long as you're top three, you get picked. So that makes this a combination. Okay. And because it's a combination, you get quote unquote repeat. Because A, B, C is the same as A, C, D, right? It's because the order doesn't matter, it's the same letters that are there. That's all that counts, all right? So we flip the page. There is a formula for N, C, R. So this is a combination, okay? When the order doesn't matter, it's N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. Some books write it this way, n over r, these little funky brackets. Okay, that means the exact same thing. n choose r, right? The number of objects chosen, just picking, choosing whatever, r objects, okay? And you should have an ncr button on your calculator. Um, okay, three students from a class of 10 are to be chosen to go on a school trip. How many ways can you choose the three students? Just a combination or a permutation? That's always your first question. Combination, because the order doesn't matter, you get picked. So it's 10 students, I need three of them, 10 choose three. Find the, the NCR button on your calculator, please, so you can do it, because this button we will use all the time. Unless you want to plug it into that formula, but then that's a bit tedious. You should get 120. <laughs> you can do that if you want, but that seems like extra work. But you do you. Yeah. No, you can't do that. All right. Uh, the lottery. Lotto 649. Pick six numbers between 1 and 49. Um, is lottery going to be a permutation or a combination? combination because the order that they come up doesn't matter it's just you need the right numbers okay 
So how many different ways, all right, can you choose six numbers, all right? What is he saying? How many different? Six, yeah. How many different ways can you choose six numbers? Well, how many numbers are there? 49. You have to pick or choose. That's why I'm careful with saying pick or choose. Okay. Uh, six of them. 49 choose six. There are 13,983,000. 816 different ways you can pick, pick them. Choose six numbers. Six numbers of 49. No, that's your chances of winning like whatever the jackpot. I forget how the lottery works, but getting all the numbers in. The correct numbers, right? But then they have all the smaller ones that they have, right? It's not. Put our minds to it. <laughs> Just buy. Was it a dollar a ticket? Yeah. So if the if the jackpot is over fourteen million dollars, you would make a profit. Theoretically, but also remember, six forty nine gets split, right? Because if you win it with somebody else, then they'll split it. Because other people could have the same numbers, and I don't play the lottery. Um, and they have smaller prizes if you get like three numbers and things like that. So you might not get over fourteen million. No, but you buy fourteen million. I'll get right on that. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I don't know all the lotteries. Sorry, I don't play the lotteries. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Now we're forming a committee. There's 15 people on the on the council. Nine males, six females. Subcommittee has to have three females. Okay. Number of ways of selecting six females. How many are there to choose from? That sounds really bad. I know. There's, there's six, that's a better way to say it, six women. All right, we need three, so it's six choose three. How many ways can you pick, choose the guys? There's nine of them, how many do we need? Four. We need four, there's seven people on the committee, sorry. Mm, where is it? Yeah, there's seven council members. Sorry? I, I didn't make the book. <laughs> nine choose four. Okay. So this six choose three is 20. Nine choose four is 126. So how many ways can you form the subcommittee? Multiply those two answers together. 20 times 126. Yeah, because you have to have this many women and this many men. So you're going to multiply them together. All right, what if we have to put Bruce on there, the football coach? I don't know why they put him in a football coach, but. All right, if we have to have Bruce on the committee, how many Bruces are there? There's one. So it's like one choose one. That's Bruce, which is just one. Okay. Everything else stays the same except so the the women is still six choose three. How many guys do you have to choose from now? Sorry. No, not nine. We're we're calling Bruce one of the guys. So it's eight choose three. What if? No, we've already gone through this. Okay. I understand this is an old book. So it's eight choose three because there's one less. We're saying it is. It is. 
much. I mean, I guess they don't say it specifically, but I think you have to assume that. You can ask me if that is. I don't know if it's coach speaking. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, one to five. Do your questions one to five. Oh, almost fell over. I should write my.